Okay, six scale. This is February second, twenty twenty three. So Brian, I figured we could talk. Uh, maybe we can do this first. Uh, do you want to go over the um, the performance cluster changes? Since I saw there was uh, some news on that. Yeah. So the cluster has been rebuilt successfully, and I've been able to run the perf scale workloads against the cluster. Um, we were just waiting on a DNS update so that we can allow Prow to run the workloads against the cluster. Um, that DNS update has been done. There's a couple of things that need to be add, added to our secrets repo, so they will hopefully get added today. And then we should be able to run um, the workloads against the cluster. There's a PR in Kubercuber that has to go in as well. Um, I try and find the link to it for you now. It's a simple yeah, PR because yeah. the, the service just changed. So um, it's just pointing to the new Prometheus service. service. So, um, uh, okay. so, that it, so that I can scrape the metrics. I'll just drop it in. Makes sense. Right. Okay, yeah, I think I saw that one. Okay. Yeah, if you can look in here, that'd be great. Okay, that sounds really good. So um, like, what were some of the changes that you had to make? Is this like, um, is it like, so we upgraded to like new CentOS, I think, and then, uh, and then we have to get to the new Kubernetes version, right? Is it? Do you know what version? It's, what version is it on now? Um, so it's on one dot twenty four. It's 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 a it's a rebuilt cluster. We used we used OpenShift to build the cluster, but um, it should just work the same. Instead of that, it's based off of um. I'll tell you the exact version now. One second. Uh, So since it was built by OpenShift, is that is it um, will, will will that help us with the maintainability of it, like doing upgrades and, and stuff? Yes, that yes. So, that, so, that, so, that, so that was the idea. Yeah, it'll reduce the maintenance on on the cluster, and, and we'll have full support for upgrades and all that kind of thing. Cool. So okay. it'll be it'll be much more maintainable now. So it's That's based great. on one dot twenty four dot six. Okay. Cool. And is CentOS 9 or CentOS 8? Yeah, CentOS 8. 8, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, really excited to see that. That's awesome. It'd be cool to start getting back to our 600 job drones and stuff. Yeah, I was cool. really hoping to have it for you today, but um, unfortunately, you just got the DNS update there this morning. So, um, yeah, a few more bits and pieces to get in, and then hopefully we'll have it for next week for you. Cool. Have All right. That's great. Yeah. Exciting. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, that's an awesome up to here. So um, the other thing that um, I wanted to do. Um, so we we had this discussion. Uh, we I mean uh, me and Lubo at the last yeah. six scale on. Um, hey Ryan. Sorry. On, yeah. Before we context switch. Uh, Sure. I had a quick question for Brian on the cluster rebuild. So, um, Brian, I um, like when in the past when working with um, six six scale and some of the monitoring um, metrics is, um, I was using a dashboard uh, which was shared by Marcelo. It's with IP fifty two one one seven sixty nine one zero six. Does that change with the cluster rebuild? Is, was that the was that the Grafana instance? Was it? Yes. Yeah. So I, I I might try and recreate that Grafana instance. Do you know where those dash were those were those dashboards saved in the Git repository or were they just on the on the Grafana? I am not actually sure. Um, I can share with you the link I had bookmarked and I was using. Yeah, it. I, I see it. I see it in the documentation for the cluster. Um, right. But that cluster that 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 cluster is gone now completely. So that Grafana instance is definitely gone. So I just hope that I'm not sure. If, if I'll check. I'll check the Git repository, the project Git repository, to see if those dashboards are there. Um, I'm I think not Marcelo sure. made updates to the the upstream Kubert Grafana examples or something. There was a there's a 
repo or something that 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 should suffice like i think if it if it's not exact that's okay like i think that's just what we should go with okay yeah well as long as i can, we can, find, always I can modify. try i can try and deliver some grafana as well and then just have the dashboards available there um yeah that'll be a follow-on though i want to get the workflows running first and then we can look at getting the grafana instance back yeah no problem i mean just as long as we have the IP address and a working instance, we can then add things needed um, yeah. as we go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, Lai. Okay. Um, so the so moving on to the the performance job. So one of the things that we uh, discussed with um, Ubo last week was um, the basically how to track these things, how to, because we kind of, what we've been doing is we've been kind of weekly looking at these things and, and it works for sort of a way to monitor and if there's like any major changes and so on. But the thing is though, when, um, from our discussion is that when we look at changes between jobs, between days, there's a little bit of variation and, and that's okay. But what is challenging to see is when we look at a pattern over time, we want to see like, okay, is this job, is this, you know, is this um, PR really making enough of a change from what we expect um, from the line that we sort of the normal mean that we expect. And, and, and so like, what would be really good is to eventually get to a point where we can visualize these changes across over kind of many weeks and, and months. So that's a lot easier to tell, you know, what's changing. So the, uh, the thought was, is that we can use um, some of the, we can basically scrape the, the metrics that we're doing and we can publish them in, into graphs and then, and then look at this data and that's be a better way to compare over time instead of kind of just looking at the, the weekly performance job results. And that'd be a better way to, to visualize and catch changes at least until yeah. like we have thresholds and other stuff in there that's good but this is just be a way we can kind of get patterns across a release for example so i think daniel has done something similar like that for the flake finder um so he's able to push metrics to the prometheus push gateway in our prow control plane cluster and then those metrics get delivered to Grafana, so you have to create a dashboard then using those metrics. That could be something we could do, is if we could find a way of, well, I, I can talk to Daniel and see how he's doing that with the Flake Finder and how he's delivering those metrics. Yeah, the um, I, the thing I saw was this repo, um, this Kubert CI Health was a good example. Like these charts, for example, were like really useful to like the, uh, sorry, my daughter's crawling around on my feet. The, the, these charts are really useful to see, like here we can see jobs and their, how much time they're taking, how, much, how they're doing. And, um, and uh, basically we just want to have the same, same idea. So kind of what you're saying, and I think, so Lubo said he'd look at this when he's back from vacation, but um, I just want to let people know, let you guys know, like this is, this would make, this would probably make our lives a lot easier as a direction to go longer term. Yeah. And then eventually yeah. I saw too the, we can publish badges. Like you can see, yeah. like look at these, like we could publish these inside the Cuba repo and say like, hey, this is what we expect. Uh, like it's what we're seeing in CI, like a hundred VMs. This is what we're seeing from our performance cluster. And, yeah. uh, you know, that's the way we can kind of set expectations like per release or you know, what we're currently seeing, you know, if it's above, below, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like a performance health check nearly similar, similar yeah. to this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. that'd be something interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that was just kind of what I wanted to share is like that I think so eventually the idea is that this just gets us a another way to look at these these jobs to make it a little bit easier. And the thing is we could do the same idea with like so we talk about like the you know create to running time. We could do the same idea with like you know the HTTP requests that we see um, the posts get the, the number of those things and see if chart them and see how they're changing. And then that same idea, like, you know, how many, it's like an estimate for our scale. 
And then anything else that we kind of come up with would be the idea. Yeah, that okay. sounds really cool. Yeah. Well, it's something that we'll have to look into, but I think like whenever Lubo is back, we can kind of discuss this and maybe even bring in Daniel too. And you probably have some idea, maybe you have some ideas too, Brian, and we can kind of um, get together on one of these calls and see what we can come up with. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Okay. Um, that's all I had I owed uh, for results. I had already looked at these and the, the results look okay. There hasn't been much change. So um, instead of reviewing my three individual ones here, I think there hasn't been much change. So I don't know, is there anything else you guys want to discuss before we close? Is it feature freeze this week? Is it feature freeze? Yes, today? it's today. Feature freeze is today. Okay, great, good to know. Yeah, so that's an important announcement. So today, and then for in terms of the release schedule, um, there'll be it should be a few weeks. There'll be a few cycles of um, URCs. Uh, it, I think the two things that we're waiting on are uh, one of them's the um, the one twenty six gates for CentOS nine need to be passing, yeah. and then the uh, second one is the um, uh, the pod security. Or is it PSP? PSA. I don't know. Is what it, PSA, yeah, it's a new name yeah. for it. The, the PSA changes to be to be integrated. Those are the two changes. Those are the security, those are the sort of the two exceptions that'll be blocking it officially being releases, but the future freeze will be today. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. One, one oh, yeah, one, sure. Go ahead. Raise um, and this might not be related to PowerPoint scale, but related to the current topic about uh, feature freeze. So I noticed one thing that uh, Kubernetes also does the Cube community is that when these kinds of feature freezes are coming up, they they look at the major features going in and try to come up with some kind kind of blog post or announcement. Um, I wonder if. Uh, there are any major features going in that needs uh, such an announcement on on the next release? Yeah, that's a good question. I think um, yeah, this is this would be one like area where we we've been sort of discussing. Like Andrew Burden's been sort of trying to get together and you know figure out how we want to do release notes and organize them in such a way that. They're useful just for people to see like what features are changing. And I guess what I could see is this being like a an add-on to that, like, hey, these are these here are our major features. And it would be nice to do a blog post about you know one or two of them or something. Yeah, yeah. I can raise this question in the next week's community meeting and see if um, we can have more discussion around this. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. I think I think I'll lay like the some of the stuff. Um, like I think some of the stuff will be sorted when um, as we get closer to V one. So sort of right now, the zero five nine releases are sort of like the trial run. It's like the the new cadence. Um, a bunch of things are changing, and so the thing to expect is that there'll be there'll be a little bit of growing that'll have to occur, and then mm -hmm. as like because I, I like, I guess the the biggest thing you we're going to notice here is right. We're going to have a few releases of of release notes, which is a big change. So it sort of begs the question of okay, how can we highlight the important ones, which is kind of what you're getting at. So I think I think at some point here we're going to need to have that discussion. So yeah, community means probably a good place. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, if there's nothing else, thanks for your time. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Thank guys. you. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.